Well, we've got to cover this. Uh, it's not something that I want to cover because uh, it, it all relates to what happened over the weekend with Trump. Uh, but we're going to talk about Alyssa McConte and her absolute dreadful takes that she has posted online, which have now been deleted, thankfully. But they're absolutely dreadful. We're gonna, we'll, we'll, we'll start with that Park Place because they, they have a good list of it. Um, Kotaku senior editor Alyssa McConte mocks attempted assassination of President Donald Trump. This is, I've seen a lot of these things going on here. This isn't just going to be Alyssa. There's also uh, David Jaffrey of uh, God of War. And there's a few others to show as well. It, it, it's just absolutely dangerous precedence that these people are putting out there. And this is the thought that we have. These are the people that are, have been trying to push the narrative, have been trying to push the games down our throats to over agenda driven politics in them. And this is where it's gotten us now, where an assassination attempt has been made on the president's life. I'm Canadian and this is absolutely appalling to see. Did you tweet these? Alyssa, this is from Grums. Uh, Trump shooter revealed Alyssa McConte showing a stormtrooper because you know the stormtrooper misses because their aim is horrible. You gotta remember, stormtroopers are supposed to be trained soldiers and their aim is supposed to be very good. Something about the force or some sort of force behind it at this point possibly saved Trump's life. It's disturbing to think of this. If you know the canon behind Star Wars, stormtroopers are supposed to be a good shot, and but in the show they just happen to miss everything because it was hilarity and because Luke is using the Force. That's the idea behind it. Why he can't be hit by stormtroopers, why they don't have a good, a good shot against them. But it's still absolutely disparaging. It's horrible to see. This was all from uh, Sean Lady Devon Respector saying, putting up an original post about this and it's absolutely disgraceful to see. This also came out shortly after Grums pointed out that Alyssa uh, retweeted Demis TV. This was uh, when the bounty was placed on Grums' head. That's why this is such significant importance right now. There was a bounty put on Grums' head of $30,000 for his life. And then it also went to Asmon Gold as well. Um, and... Alyssa McConte also retweeted this. Uh, holy crap, crap, someone just shot Trump and barely missed his head, hitting his ear instead. Alyssa McConte, of course, retweeting it and putting it out there. And some of the comments below this, I'm not going to read them out because they're absolutely dreadful. There's stuff that shouldn't be said. This is, I, I don't care who you are, your political opponent, you don't do this. This is not the answer. This is how things escalate and go out of control. This is extremism at its worst. And this needs to, this type of stuff needs to be brought back and paused. It needs to be settled down. People need open discourse and this is not how you get it. Well, yeah, I'm going back to uh, Grums here, but it got pointed out um, for the God of War creator thinks it's all fake, thought the, uh, what was going on? Because people lost their lives over this. People were injured, bloodied. It's, it's disturbing to think that anybody thinks this was staged and faked at that point. This not. This is a real world event that just happened. This is a shot heard around the world. It's absolutely disparaging, right? Yes, I'm serious that it's, it seems odd and Trump's going Trump. He's a TV star and drama queen. The Secret Service seems to a layman like me to have responded very weirdly post-shooting. And that's correct. They have because they took a long time to uh, respond to it. I'm making this video short because I've seen a lot of these things and I want to move past this, but I'm doing this more to get it up right now. It's absolutely ridiculous that people are saying that this was even faked or staged. This is something that happened. This is a real world event. This is going to be in the history books for humanity. And people are going to say that this changed history. This is a big deal. And anyone that's sitting there saying that things were faked is absolutely beyond their their position right now and needs to take a good step back and relook at what's going on in the world. Thanks for watching. I'm your Prague Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.